And um, and people, someone, someone's talking about help desk, man. People don't, people don't like. I make help desk videos, and a lot of people hate it. But me, right. like, you can make a lot of money in help desk. So, I'm so, just saying. So, so, okay, go ahead and break that down. Uh, yeah, you say you can make a lot of money. What you mean? So, so in help and people that that work help desk, there are different levels of help desk, like tier one, tier two, tier three. Mm -hmm. But then there are different titles, right? There's help desk, there's service desk, then there's desktop support. Then there's desktop support engineer. So then if you go to a fintech company, for example, uh, working desktop support uh, engineer, you can make six figures. You can make over 100K. Yeah, I didn't know and that. That, 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 that. That's like that. And like I literally trained someone um, in Texas, like remote through Zoom. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he works desktop, senior desktop support, and he makes 95K. And that's, oh. that's, his, first, that's his first job in IT. So... <laughs> okay, so give me the give, give me the roadmap, right? Because like I said, people hate on help desk, and you got people making ninety, a hundred thousand. What is the roadmap? What is I do one, two, three, and I can get a help desk job making that much money? Is it the experience piece? Is it certification? Is it college? Is it who you know? Like what would you what would you say? It's it's it's, it's everything. So okay. it's certifications. It's who you know. Um, it's the skills, it's the skills that you need to know. Like, it's not like you learn a bunch of garbage and then it stays in your head and you're not using it. Right. So mm -hmm. you have to know, um, SSEM. So that is basically, um, to, to build images, uh, mm -hmm. building computers from scratch, laptops, computers, you may need to know active directory, but in depth, like DNS, That's DCP, cool. reserving IP addresses, allocating IP addresses, creating scopes, creating reservations, creating lease time. You may need to know about Office 365, but not like just troubleshooting Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but like right. the admin side of it. So you may need to know SharePoint, admin, uh, OneDrive, admin, uh, Exchange, admin. Um, you have to know PowerShell as well. Obviously, you cannot avoid PowerShell. Right. Um, you need to know um, share drive permissioning, like mm -hmm. how to how to give someone access to a certain folder because you have a lot of departments that are working different, different departments. You have separate departments, like one may be HR, one may be IT. One well, maybe maybe finance. So you have all these different departments. You split them into pieces, and you have to know how to give them access to certain things. Because for legal reasons, we then we're not going to give everyone access to everything on a folder. We only give them access to one specific folder, and that's it. So it, it's very involved. There's a lot of things involved. It's supposed to search. Sometimes it's not what you know; it's who you know. Um, mm -hmm. The skills part, the certifications. Now and helped us. They're doing cloud now. Like we literally, like literally, someone just got a job yesterday on my Discord. And he's gonna do help desk using AD Connect and Cloud Azure. So, awesome. you know, the sky's the limit in help desk. It's not just, it's not just regular help desk. People think that I sit here and reset passwords all day. I don't do that. I wish I did right, that. Right. I wish I get paid hundred k for that, but we don't do that. So this is very important that that um, that you, you you do your homework. And also, if you work for a financial company, it gets more complicated because now you need to know Salesforce. You may need to know Tab Tableau. The Tableau application, you may need to know about Concur, Workday. There's all, these are things that I've done in my past. You may need to know financial applications like Bloomberg technology or, or something else. So it gets very, very complicated. You have to know how to troubleshoot those applications, those terminals, those mm -hmm. third-party apps. And that's how you make a lot of money because now you're doing help desk, but now you're doing help desk for an application as well. Like I said, Salesforce makes all, they pay a lot. They pay a shit ton of money.